Hey Upload, Arix here and welcome back to another Titanfall Beta Breakdown. In this video we're going to take a look at some of the other weapons that are available to you. In the previous video, if you haven't already seen it, then I took you through the primary weapons but this time we're going to take a look at the sidearms, the anti-titan weapons and finally the ordnance, which are effectively your grenades. Now within these categories there are two sidearms, two anti-titan weapons and two grenades. The sidearms are the RE45 Auto Pistol and the Hammond P2011. The anti-titan weapons are the Archer Heavy Rocket and the Sidewinder, and the ordnance are the Frag Grenade and the Arc Grenade. So let's start it off with the Hammond P2011. This is arguably the first sidearm you will probably encounter. It's a semi-automatic handgun with relatively good accuracy and damage at range. It's got a decent capacity, it's got 12 rounds in the magazine, um, and it's got a relatively decent fire rate. Obviously it is a single shot gun, so the fire rate tends to match however fast you can pull the trigger. I personally favour this sidearm over the other one, simply because I prefer the sort of slight benefit of being able to shoot slightly longer ranges. And with that in mind, let's move on to the next one. So the RE45 Auto Pistol is a fully automatic 45 caliber pistol, and kind of like SMGs, it does sacrifice damage and range for its increased fire rate, but then it does often balance out because the increased fire rate then equates to more damage. So close range, this will probably take down slightly faster than the Hammond P2011. I personally pair this gun up with my SMG class simply because normally when I use the SMG it's because I'm running around and I'm sort of expecting to encounter close quarter combat situations. So with that in mind, I prefer an auto pistol where I can just sort of spray and pray and then it does a lot of damage for me. Now moving on to the anti-titan weapons, these are obviously designed to take down titans. The first of which is the Archer Heavy Rocket. Now this fires a powerful homing missile, but the only downside to this is that it can only be fired if you have a lock on. So you can't fire this at enemy players, you can't fire it at you know, random parts of the buildings, things like that. You can only fire it at either titans or the dropship at the end of the game. It does do quite a lot of damage, but it only holds one rocket at a time, so it's got an extremely slow fire rate. And with that in mind, that's the main reason that I favour the other weapon. So moving on to the Sidewinder, that is a rapid fire micro missile launcher. And the benefit of this one is that you can fire it wherever you want, whenever you want. So you can use this to kill other enemy players, or titans, or you know, AI, spectres, grunts, whatever you want. Or even the dropship at the end of the game. Now, statistically, this one doesn't do as much damage as the Archer Heavy Rocket. Simply because, per single shot, it's obviously a lot weaker. But the difference is this has a magazine capacity of 25, so you can fire 25 mini rockets to every one massive rocket from the Archer. This is definitely my anti-titan weapon of choice because the increased fire rate and the amount of rockets you can fire often results in relatively good damage output anyway. And if you fire at the back of a titan where on its weak spot, the red area, then you'll also do a lot more damage. So this is what I would recommend you using when building your first class. And finally onto the ordnance. First of which is the frag grenade. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a grenade, you throw it, it explodes. It's got a relatively decent explosive radius, but it's not massive, so you do have to throw your grenades in the general vicinity of the enemy, but you know, that's not really rocket science. There's not really a lot more to say about this one. You carry two by default, so obviously once you've thrown them, then you're out until your next life. So do be careful where you throw them, and you want to tend to use them sort of slightly sensibly. I personally like to throw them through windows because often you find people camping in windows so throw it through and often if they're not that observant they won't always see it. Alternatively, if a drop pod comes in and it, a load of grunts come out, I tend to throw the grenade at that because obviously you can sometimes get 4 or 5 easy kills and then that will give you a few nice points in attrition and obviously help your team out in the long run. So moving on to the arc grenade. Now the arc grenade does limited damage when compared to the frag grenade. However, it heavily distorts the vision of both titans and pilots, so effectively you can see this as a flash grenade. Now the interesting thing about this one is that it is really, really disruptive. If you are in a titan and you've been hit with an arc grenade, you will know that it is a real pain. It completely distorts your vision, you cannot see for the life of you, and you basically have to walk around aimlessly for a little bit. You know, the effects do wear off relatively quickly, but if you're in a pinch and you throw down an arc grenade, then it can often be the difference between life and death because it will give you that window to escape. Also, interestingly enough, the arc grenade can be used to reveal hidden enemies. So if your enemy is cloaked and for example they're camping somewhere or sniping from somewhere, then throw down an arc grenade in their general vicinity and then the electric radius explosion will reveal their location. And that is just about it for the rest of the weapons. So as I said before, if you want to see more about the primary weapons, then be sure to head over to the official upload channel and take a look at that video that we put out. And also be sure to take a look at all the other Titanfall coverage we've been doing because there is a lot of content you're going to want to see. While you're there, don't forget to add the official upload gamertag as a friend so you know when all of the latest videos get uploaded and so you can stay tuned for more awesome content. But thanks again for watching, hopefully you found this helpful, see you later.